You know, we're expecting to hear some kind of announcement from the U.S. possibly Thursday on these tariffs. Now that we see you know, the likes of Gary Cohn leaving within the White House, is there more of a higher chance that we could see uh, of a trade war? Um, we still think a full-scale trade war, the chances are very low at the moment. Although given the development of uh, events recently, uh, the chance may be double. Uh, however, um, it's still... Uh, very, very low at the moment. How, how do you think China might fight back on this at all? Do you expect any type of retaliation? We've already heard the likes of Europe chime in on, on all this as well. Um, it's unclear how this is going to trigger uh, retaliatory moves from China or EU. And uh, just on the NPC, China actually promised to, like, to use more concessions or reforms to respond to this event, like opening up the markets more. So um, uh, we, we don't know how they're going to respond to this plan. And uh, it's unclear how U.S. will eventually implement this tariff. Well, it's interesting yeah. because, I mean, there's still a lot of uncertainty about you know, who is excluded, who is not. But China mm -hmm. certainly is going to be targeted, it seems, and not be in this list of people that get a free pass on this. So. Uh, you know, given the fact that we've seen the synchronized global growth, China being a part of this, and we are expecting some of the trade data to come through here now, is there a risk here at least of at least derailing or even speeding up the slowing of global growth that we have seen already this year? Mm -hmm. um, given the currently target sectors, um, steel and aluminum, it uh, has accounted a very small share um, in, in China's exports and also in U.S. imports. Uh, we, we don't see this move is going to derail the positive momentum in global trade this year. And uh, if we look at 2017, uh, look at the breakdown of the strength of, um, um, of the glo global trade, uh, we see it was mainly driven by capital goods exports. Mm. And uh, that's very li related to uh, a rebound of the global capex uh, cycle. And uh, still, we are expecting the advanced economy will have to, uh, we will continue to see uh, strong capex momentum. And Asia is very well positioned um, in this rebound because uh, their trade is very concentrated in capital, uh, capital goods compared to the rest of the world.